Elizabeth Warren has taken another apparent step towards running against President Trump in 2020. The liberal senator has released 10 years of her tax returns, and it turns out the left-wing critic of the 1% is actually part of the group that she consistently bashes. Since 2008, Warren and her husband have earned almost $10 million. Hmm. Dana, you think she's running for president? I think this is a good PR stunt for her. When she ran for Senate, or her opponent asked for six years of her um, tax returns. She refused to do that. She'll only, only give four. Now she's done 10, but that owes most of the years that she's been a senator. So we still don't have anything before 2008. Why? Well, my guess is it's because back then she was a corporate attorney for really big corporate firms, and she was making a lot of money, and she would look like a hypocrite if she were to you know, actually put them out there. And my guess is that there is more uh, in, in these tax returns. The thing is, President Trump can't hit her on this because he's not going to release his That's tax right. returns either. But her Democratic opponents uh, in the primary can and they will. That's right. They certainly will. And Juan, do you think this is capitalism? Yeah. She's a, <laughs> she, a said, <laughs> she said she's a capitalist. She said, right. she said outright. You know, 1%. so but the other part of this is Bernie Sanders. Right, because Pam, I think Bernie Sanders they also both made a lot off their yeah. book writing. So but I just, you know, the but I don't have. I'm, if somebody makes money off of books, I think Greg would testify. That's good We're stuff. For that. We're, We're for that. We're for everybody. Well, and all four of your books are great books too. Oh yeah, That's well, I, don't, I think people like Bernie's book. But I'm just saying, that to me, the big news is here. Oh, the the right is saying, oh, imagine Elizabeth Warren complaining about the one percent. She's part of the one percent. That's it. Oh, wait a second, Donald Trump. Donald Trump, who doesn't release tax returns, who won't divest himself from his own companies while he's in office in the White House, making money, who has all these aides who are taking trips on public dollars, and you guys want to complain about Elizabeth Warren? I'd be careful, for He has plenty he can hit her on. And, yeah. and I was going to say, that's, I think that's a bit of a stretch. She's done a lot to create opportunity for a lot of people. Jesse, what do you think? Uh, she's running. I absolutely think she's running, and it's a cagey move to get the tax returns out now. I mean, they're not making a lot of money when you compare it to President Trump or some of the other really fat cat senators there that she's with. But she's done well for herself, and her husband's done very well. He's almost making a million, and uh, she's got some nice properties. I thought it was really smart for her to have a kind of drain the swamp piece of legislation. She wants to ban former members of Congress and senators and presidents from becoming lobbyists when they leave office. Right. I mean, that, that will just dry up the entire swamp right there. I think it's illegal. You can't tell someone what to do once they leave office. They can do whatever they want. That's how the system works. But it's a nice effort, and uh, I commend her for it. Did I just say that? Yes, good job. <laughs> What's good wrong job. with he me? He complimented her. Greg, what do you think? Um, it's not about the tax returns, and it's not about being rich. We, none of us have any problem with people getting rich. The issue is that they have a problem right. with people getting rich. The, the, the true rich liberal is, has this idea. They, they love the money. They got theirs, but now they want to take yours. And I could go after them because they're, she's an example of economic inequality because there are people in her state that make less money than her. And that's not fair. But I'm smart. I know that economic inequality is the consequence of capitalism. Where there's an opportunity in which you have the freedom to do better than other people, you will do better than other people, and people will do not as well as you. But she gets it wrong because she is for equality of outcome, not equality of opportunity. That's why they're hypocrites. But don't you think there's such a thing as too big to fail and that we bail out the big boys on uh, Wall Street and the big boys take care of themselves and everything from college admissions to tax breaks? Uh, she's got a point when it comes to big bank bailouts, but I think what she's gotten wrong, and I agree with Greg, you don't help poor people by making rich people less rich. I didn't that's say, not no, the I don't think that's what it. she's saying. I think she's saying no, she, that she, you that have to what she's have, saying. No, she's, she's saying, all for tax hikes. No, she's all for gosh. raising taxes on corporations. Fair taxes is different than saying, oh, tax hikes, tax Fair. hikes. Here's the thing. After she's the saying tax cuts you we just have had to still unfair. Oh, please. She's <laughs> saying that you have to have regulations in place so these big companies don't abuse people. And for example, you know, President Trump supporters who are out there saying, you know, income equality is high. They're closing my plant in some state. Guess who's doing it? That's that big hedge fund guys on Wall Street. And she's saying we need to stop it. That's well, if she's going to run against Wall Street, she's never going to get the uh, Democratic nomination for president. All right. That's right. That's right. One more thing is up next. <laughs> Best segment. <laughs>